Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Apex Legends. And this video in the background is a 27 kill, 5100 damage game of Team Deathmatch. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about my thoughts so far on Season 16. We're about a month into it and some people have asked me what I think about it overall. So this video is for those people. And we're going to start off with what I like about Apex uh, Season 16. And the first thing I like about it is I like the way they've done the classes, uh, the legends, how they divide them into skirmisher and recon and all that. I, I think that was a good change. I like that. And not only that, but each class has its own little ability. And I think that's a good feature, how, you know, certain characters can carry more ammo, like the salt class. Other ones can scan beacons to find the next zone, while the other ones can scan beacons to show you where the enemies are. It's a good change. And it also kind of cleared up the UI a little bit, the user interface, and like overall it was a good change. And the next pro I'd have to say would be the firing range changes. Not only do you not have to grab like a gold bag or purple bag and fill it full of ammo if you want to warm up say like a R399, now you have infinite ammo, but to me the best change is the fact that you can have the bot strafing, crouching, like you warm up so much faster, so much faster versus just shooting a static dummy. And this was a very welcome change, so I look forward to seeing more updates to the firing range, hopefully down the line. And the next pro I got is the introduction of Team Deathmatch. And sorry for all you arena grinders out there, but Team Deathmatch is the best game mode to warm up in, hands down. Now even though it will be going in an hourly, hourly rotation, it's just you cannot find more action and more gunfights faster. Now I know I talked highly about the firing range for warming up, Team Deathmatch is even better. It is the best game mode for it. It's a constant gunfight. No, you don't have to wait on your teammates to respond to you or nothing like that. You die, five seconds later, you're right back in a gunfight. So handy for warming up. The next pro I have would be the ranked map rotations. Instead of playing, say, Kings Canyon for an entire split, at once every 24 hours, you get a brand new ranked map to play on. This kind of helps with getting burnt out and you know, seeing that one map, knowing that, oh man, I gotta play Kings Canyon or I gotta play World's Edge for the next, you know, 47 days. Where this is like, oh, it's Broken Moon Day. I don't wanna play it. I just wanna play Ranked today. Or it's, you know, World's Edge Day. I'll come back tomorrow. And I think it's gonna help greatly with the, the rank burnout. And there are a few other little smaller things that, you know, on the positive side, but that's all the, uh, the major points I wanna cover. Let's go ahead and start talking about some of the cons. And the first con is the same con it's been since season one, season zero, audio. There is no audio in this game. I have lost count of how many times in just season 16, I have died to someone walking right behind me. I mean, close enough. If he would, if this individual was any closer, we would be sharing a monitor and not a footstep, not a peep out of them. And the most frustrating part about no footstep audio is the fact that you can hear gunshot audio from over 500 meters away. Now I'm no audio engineer, I'm no game designer, but I mean, as much money as this game has made, as much money as EA and Respawn have made from just Apex Legends, there has to be a solution, there has to be a fix. And the audio rolls me into my second con, which is third parties. And I decided to roll from audio into third parties because audio is a big contributing factor to that. I have clips saved of me hearing a gunfight 538 meters away. And listen, I understand that third parties are part of BRs. I just don't think they're, they should be to the extent that they happen in Apex Legends. And honestly, what I think would be a simple solution, cut the distance that you can hear a gunshot, just cut that distance in half. Instead of being able to hear a gunfight, you know, 500 meters away, you can only hear one 200 meters away, 250 meters away. That will, that right there is a step in the right direction as far as limiting third parties. And my next con, this is more on the rank side, although I have been experiencing it quite a bit in pubs, and that is hackers and cheaters. And I know that the high, right now, the higher level lobbies of Diamond, uh, Masters, Pred, they're constantly being DDoSed. And on top of that, you got the reload glitch or reload hack, which Respawn said there's a fix in the works, should go out next week, but if you already got the fix out, send it and just the amount of people wall hacking in this game is you would be surprised if you just watch some people play after they kill you watch just watch them for a little bit and i'm not saying it's every player i know there, there are people out there who are incredible in this game but 
the wall hacks and the aim bots in this game are still a problem a rampant problem even in season 16 which i mean you can only just assume that the anti-cheat system in this game is just a joke i don't know if it's broken or i don't know there's there's something has to be changed about this a company cannot make as much money as ea and respawn they cannot have such a successful game as apex legends and just have cheaters running rampant and the last kind i'll leave you with is the overall lack of i guess balancing or nerfing of certain legends for season 16. the fact that seer is just he's still broken seer is absolutely busted they i mean they made a small tweak to him but nothing major seer seer and especially in high rank lobbies a seer catalyst is that's the new meta right now and meanwhile pathfinder yes his rope can now go what 400 meters 300 meters but his hitbox is still as big as that rock on my screen right now and you know they nerfed horizon's gravity lift but you can still get beamed out of the sky by one of those and her ult is just one of the most annoying things in apex legends and there's several other legend changes that i didn't really do a whole lot but to circle back to seer and uh touch on bloodhound the the scan meta is not good for the game it's really not and they have a few more little gripes and complaints about Apex Season 16, but those are the major ones right there. Number one being audio, or lack thereof. But anyway, I'm going to let you all get into the rest of the video. Make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new here, and let me know down in the comments what do you like about Season 16 of Apex and what do you dislike. And until next time, peace out. Hope you all enjoyed it. Can't be losing us. There's a void in your heart. And I put it there. Wings out. Enemy off the top of Preparing. all the flanks. Here I go. Edith are my grenade. Bogey in sight. Bogey in my crosshairs. Hold up. Healing. Thank you. Where is his L star at? One sec, healing up. Mama. 
There's somebody else back here. Aha! Bogey in sight. A team is nearing victory. Wings up. We're about to win. you have I'm not sliding off of. Wings up. Throwing jump drive. Wings up. Oh, you stole my kill. Damn, what a game.